President Duterte is eyeing a ban on the use of plastic, but it needs legislation. Mm. Do you think it's even workable? Mm. Well, uh, unang-unang dapat tignan natin dito is, if pansin natin yung mga ginagawa natin ng Presidente, parang he's doing some legacy years recalibration dito sa drug war nga. He made a major surprising move by appointing Vice President Lenny Robredo to join the campaign. No? Siguro gusto niya sa mga legacy years niya, ayusin niya talaga yung mga major policies niya. Dito naman sa issue ng pollution environment, uh, in fairness to President Duterte, ito ay malapit sa kanyang puso. At nakita natin in the past whether ito yung uh, sudden shutdown ng Burakay, whether ito yung appointment ng the late Gina Lopez as the Secretary of DNR, which was very controversial, including among some of the cabinet members of the President. Nakita natin na in fairness kay Paul Duterte, he has some environmentally strict. So this is not completely unsurprising, no? Especially as he moves into the legacy years. Pero ang tanong also, of course, dito is uh, yung implementation and whether effective ito. Kasi, uh, may reports from Ocean Conservancy and McKinsey Report na pinapakita that the Philippines is the third largest contributor to maritime debris and pollution, no? At, of course, dito sa Ash, Southeast Asia, actually one of the largest garbage collections sa meron tayo. So, meron tayong talagang problema dito sa issue ng pollution. And in fairness to President Duterte, dun sa huling ASEAN Summit, ni raise yung issue na yan bilang ASEAN-China country coordinator na dapat magkaroon ng regional response na may coordination sa pagitan ng iba't ibang bansa at may tulong sa mga more developed countries for us to deal with these problems. But, alam natin, isang problema dito is one major source of pollution, why yung Indonesia and Philippines are number two and three in the world, for instance, is yung mga sachet Dahil marami sa ating mga consumers cannot afford siguro to buy yung mga more expensive, larger quantity, marami nagre-rely dito sa small sachet. Saan pumupunta yan? Pumupunta yan sa mga water systems natin, sa oceans natin. So you really need a comprehensive uh, response that at the same time also protects yung mga consumers na, na, na nakasalala yung kanilang consumption on very affordable quantities. So medyo more complicated yan, no? Mm -hmm. So it, you have to have a comprehensive approach. Pero lastly, uh, mahalaga din dito, pagdating sa issue ng environment, there are major projects na uh, kailangan tapusin siguro uh, yung sa gobyerno in the coming years, especially yung Kaliwa and uh, Chico River Dam project. But ang concerns ng marami environmentalist group is baka yung mga projekto yan na yan will be very environmentally damaging. At mukhang Chinese companies pang involved dito, so it added a new layer of controversy. No, it's one thing for you to deal with plastic pollution, but if we get other major issues like a dam project wrong, then that could be a very negative legacy for the president as far as the environment of the Philippines is concerned.